time. Well, now at 5, a police force stretched to its limits, and now it gets worse for San Jose officers. They are being forced to work overtime. Police say it's something they have to do to protect the Bay Area's biggest city. KPI x Ryan Takeo tells us some worry it's going to lead to exhausted officers. Ryan? Yeah, and they're stretched thin, Alan, because of the number of officers leaving the department recently. Overtime was voluntary. It won't be anymore. In a couple weeks, just because a San Jose police officer finishes a 10-hour shift doesn't mean they'll be done working. And we'll take volunteers. Um, if that doesn't happen, then we'll go reverse seniority. This program is mandatory overtime, forcing officers to stay at the end of their shift. And that would mean at least a 12-hour day. The police union says that's no way to make the streets safer. This latest policy will force officers who are already working long hours uh, to stay even longer, uh, whether they want to or not. Officers are leaving San Jose in droves. The police union says that's because of Measure B, the voter-approved pension reform plan. Now the concern is mandatory overtime could push more away. This is a policy that is dangerous because we are overworked and uh, fatigued. Now we understand what that means to our officers. The department says they're handcuffed because they're short officers. Our levels are at critical, uh, critical stages. Um, we want to ensure that our officers are safe, number one. And equally as important is we want to ensure that those um, 911 calls um, are getting answered. But a couple months ago, the thought was help was on the way. Santa Clara County Supervisors approved bringing in sheriff's deputies to beef up the law enforcement presence on the city streets of San Jose. But that help hasn't come. Details were never fully ironed out. I haven't heard much information with respect to uh, you know, asking for any outside help. Um, we certainly appreciate the offer. So no deal yet on that. The union did say today they are hopeful that uh, sheriff's deputies could help with patrols in the future. But again, that hasn't been worked out. Live in San Jose, Ryan Takeo, KPIX 5. Now, San Jose isn't the only police department to use mandatory overtime. Oakland police also requiring overtime shifts from its officers. The department faces an officer shortage and plans to keep the forced OT going for at least another year. Developing news.